How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great game in World of Tanks, Xbox One Edition. Today I'll be playing again in the M48 Patton, a tier 10 medium American tank. And uh, I will also be 3 marking it in this gameplay as well. Uh, very great tank, great TPM, uh, decent armor, and what else? That's about it. Great gun. Uh, a phenomenal view range, as you all know. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the tank stats and armor model. Because it's been in the game long enough. You want to see the armor model yourself, you go right ahead on tanks.gg and look at it for yourself. But this is going to be just a decent game in the thing. Nothing spectacular. What is spectacular, though, is what I already mentioned. And that I 3 marked this thing. I, ah, I three marked this tank in this game. I was at 94.18 in the damage standing, and as we all know, you need to be at 95% to get three marks of excellence on your tank. To be in the top 5% of the players that play the tank for those two weeks. And then it resets. Um, so the damage needed could go up, or it could go down. The damage you need right now to three mark it is, on average... Per game is 5,000 damage. Quite a lot for a medium tank, anyway. But it is a tier 10, so that's only natural, and there's a lot of good players in the uh, World of Tanks community, so it's to be expected. Really was disappointed that one didn't go in, and this game is really. Anytime you want to 3 mark a medium tank, you gotta think about spotting damage, because or, or track target hit damage, because if you can't pen whatever's in front of you reliably, you need to track it, and you need to have your your allies just dick on whatever's in front of you. Or your art, well, I guess your arty is your allies, but I don't count them as such because I hate artillery. That's not true. I, well, it is true. I do hate artillery and anything with a giant gun that takes no skill to use, much like the, the ship barn and the Death Stars. Although they do take sign, sort of kind of skill to use because you need to take risks and pop out on your reload, but the Hesh rounds make it le much less so. You can just snipe in the back the whole game and get decent amounts of damage relatively every game, unless you're playing in a town map and you just get dicked on or overwhelmed early in the game. But that's not what we're talking about this game. What we're talking about is this tank and what I'm doing to maximize my spotting efforts. I'm just being at the front of the team, spotting what I can, and as soon as I get detected, I fuck right off. Why? Because they have an arty in the game, and it's a tier 8 arty, which means it fires faster than a tier 9 or tier 10 arty, and that is not great. Sure, it, c it probably couldn't one-hit me like the T92 could, but it can still hit me for a shit ton of damage. And speaking of, I do believe it's the first thing that does cause damage to me, and it just splashes me for like 400 damage. So that's pretty cool, but whatever. It's fine. It's going to happen like any moment here. Wait for it. There it is. Yeah, cool. Oh, sorry. It was 530 damage, almost. So, even better. Not even a direct hit. 530 damage on myself. Cool. I probably would have gotten the spotting damage for that Patton being uh, damaged, regardless of whether or not I tracked him. But uh, the fact that I tracked him was just a, uh, a bonus because that way he couldn't move back into safety and he just got annihilated by my team. This is actually going to be a game that I lose and not I myself lose because obviously I'm doing damn good spotting here and moving up when I deem it necessary and safely. Uh, I get a free hit into the uh, Death Star there. Took a really chancy shot and popped out when he was undetected. I was aware he was there. I just didn't think that he would pop up like that or that I would get detected immediately when I did what I did but I think now's a no it's not right now I know they've got that medium there but this ISM I kinda wanna take care of so I pop out and then put a shot right into his turret so that was kinda lucky it was very lucky I'm not even gonna uh, argue that but now the Death Star is not dead, so what I'm doing right now is very risky, but we're not going to even have a chance of winning this game if I don't push up. I try to put a snapshot into the Sheridan, and uh, there's the Death Star on a one hit. I really want him dead, 
but I do not want to get myself killed, so he, naturally he backs off as well, being afraid of getting taken out. And uh, I'm going to move up to uh, extend the view range for my team. Naturally, I don't really have a lot of them left, and we've got two tank destroyers in the back. I don't think the one in J4 or 5 could even see what I'm aiming at, but I could be wrong. Um, but we still have Artie, <laughs> and it's a premium Artie at that, and British, so it fires very quickly and can dish out decent amounts of damage every shot, because it is also very accurate. And as you can see, their Artie is still focused on me, good on him, but I still hate him for it, because, you know, Artie. So, I want to get in, into this dip, because I want to be safe from Artie, I do not want him to take another free hit at me. And, oh look, there's another Death Star. I get tracked by the Sheridan, who's hiding in the bushes somewhere. Their Death Star gets dicked on, thank god for that. Um, and now I'm relatively safe from Artie, or at least safer than I was out being out in the open. Now my only problem with this situation is that they have mediums progressing uh, eastward into our base and if they look up here where I am, they're probably going to have easy shots on me if they don't already have easy shots on me. So that one came from the, the field. I do not, yeah, see, they're immediately shooting at me as soon as I'm spotted. So they're going to take a few blind shots at me. I don't think I get hit blind. I'm always detected when I get damaged, but right now my focus is to just get as much damage as possible before I die. That Sheridan is an immediate threat because he's very agile, he's very mobile, and our death... our death... our medium tank is not doing much to spot for us back there, so there's not really anything I can do to uh, prevent myself from getting hit in the ass end. Um, I kind of play it a little poorly here, just... I want to make sure the Sheridan doesn't finish me off immediately, and I try to get another pen into him, but... Oh, I actually do manage to get another shot off. And then, where is my savior? Well, he blocked his advance, but the uh, Progetto 65 is an idiot, so he didn't kill him fast enough. And chances are, regardless of whether or not he did, I, I, there's probably not a lot I could have done, because the E3 was coming, he was full health and they already had mediums sniping at me from behind me. So, very sad state, but it's a loss. And that amount of damage that you're seeing in the... Well, you're, I'm going to show you the end stats right now. But that was enough. What is it? 8,000 damage combined was enough to bring this tank up in the damage standing from 94.18 to 95.3. So, a little bit less than... Point eight. Very great tank. Really enjoyed 3-marking it. It was stressful, as is every other tank that you 3-mark, as long as it's, you know, like a tier above 9. Or, well, any tank is stressful to 3-mark. That is irrefutable. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to give me a like, comment, or even subscribe, as it does help out with my motivation to play this game, and also the channel. Thank you. And I'll catch you next time.